With nearly 800 miles of coastline along Lake Michigan and Lake Superior, Wisconsin has leveraged this natural resource into a long history of successful water industries. We have 21% of the world's fresh water in the form of the Great Lakes right outside our back door. And Milwaukee became the brewery capital of the United States. We became the tannery capital of the United States. All industries that required a lot of fresh water. And from that industry base, you had continuously growing suppliers. They were doing the valves, the meters, the heaters. We had an industry base here that knew how to use water and use it effectively, efficiently, and carefully. It is this historic industry base that uniquely positions Milwaukee to emerge as a global leader of water technology. Today, those suppliers who were supporting the breweries and the tanneries are now creating products and technologies to address the world's growing water issues. The concentration of industry here, which is dealing with fresh water, the interest in the lakes and the lake management, just everything that Milwaukee does is all related to fresh water. This is unique. Water, which was ignored for many, many decades, is becoming a major, major issue. And we feel that with the technology we have here, with the companies we have here, and with the talent we have here, we can help solve the world's water problems. Six years ago, while meeting with A.O. Smith CEO and President Paul Jones, Rich Mewson wondered what might happen if the region's water companies collaborated. With that, the Milwaukee Water Council was created convening the region's water companies and research clusters. Silicon Valley became Silicon Valley because of synergy and talent. Because you pool together similar companies and talent around those companies. That's exactly what we're trying to do here in Milwaukee. We can become the Silicon Valley of water technology. We have the companies, we have the talent, we just never had a way to bring them all together. The Water Council becomes that conduit. Like Silicon Valley, the strength of Milwaukee's water cluster comes from the synergy between academic researchers and water technology companies. At UW-Milwaukee, Dr. Jun Hong Chen is developing a new water technology that can have a global impact on public health. We are developing our sensors that can detect contaminants in the water in a real-time fashion. Right now, if something happens in our water distribution system, we rely on our human being as a sensor. You know, not until we see people getting sick, then we realize there's a contamination in the water. That's too late. I think by deploying the smart real-time sensors can prevent all this public health event. That's, that's the future. It's going to be a worldwide need. Despite the immediate need for these technologies, there is often a bottleneck between the academic laboratory and the marketplace. You know, not all technologies we develop in the lab is cost effective or uh, is scalable. With industry collaboration, the laboratory research can be translated into a practical, economically viable product. Industry needs academia, but it's also vice versa, and it works very well here. Collaboration between industry and academic research can mean getting technologies like these smart water sensors into the hands of the public, potentially saving lives on a global scale. The Water Council provided the conduit to make these collaborations possible, and it's proven to be a very successful model. Right now, we have 4% of the global marketplace when it comes to water coming through. And when you start thinking about it from a global standpoint, it is huge and tremendous. We didn't find anybody else in the United States that had this high concentration of industry and academia. And we really separated ourselves out on a global scale. So we're one of really five when you start looking at it. And those others are countries. And so we've got leaders from across the world coming to Milwaukee looking for answers, looking for partnerships, looking for collaboration. On September 12, 2013, the Global Water Center will open its doors to the public. All right, so this is Badger Meter's space. Eventually, there'll be a flowing bee on the door, and we'll have some signage in here by September 12th, identifying it'll say every drop counts. I believe that with this building, we're bringing the Water Council to the next phase, the next step. It doesn't do you any good when great talent is diversified and all behind locked doors. You need to get them together. 
The, the key to developing technology, the key to innovation is synergy and talent. And that's what that building is all about. This research area is A.O. Smith's research area. Now, those of you who don't know, A.O. Smith is the largest maker of water heaters in the world. A.O. Smith has installed solar panels up there because what they want to perfect here is solar-powered water heating, uh, especially third world countries. where The Global Water Center will house a dynamic mix of water technology startups, academic research programs, entrepreneurs, and long-established companies like Badger Meter and A.O. Smith. We needed a water accelerator building. That's, that was the initial thought. We needed something where entrepreneurs and even existing businesses could come every day and work together to create businesses, to share ideas, share technology, share learning, all the things that are part of our, our priorities. The Global Water Center will also house the Seed Accelerator Program, an incubator program for water technology startups and entrepreneurs. Someone has to start driving this area. And because of the resources that we have in the Milwaukee area, we can create this entrepreneurial culture, environment. You need energy like this, what's happening in Milwaukee, where it becomes entities collaborating to advance a technology, to advance an industry that is going to change the world. All right, so here's the question now. The question is, why are these two tables the most important tables in this building? Does anybody want to take a shot at answering that question? A child dies every 20 seconds in the world from lack of fresh water. We have an opportunity here to help solve that problem. We have an opportunity here to, to, to develop technologies that can help save lives and, and solve the world's water problems. The solution to it is technology. Those technologies can be developed around these two tables. That's why I'm excited. This entire building is about these two tables, the conversations and the ideas that will occur around them. That's what we're driving for. This is not the end of the story for us. There's a lot more we can do. There's a lot more opportunity out there. And the world's water problems are not uh, diminishing. They're growing, if anything. So uh, this is really just the start, in my opinion.